Hello, hello, everybody. Hey, hey. Welcome to CDCon 2024. Yeah, so this is the CDCon 2024. We're, with it, we're within the uh, Open Source Summit in North America, and my name is Dadisi Sangika, and I am governing board chair of the Continuous Delivery Foundation. I am so pleased to be kicking off this event, guys. Um, Seattle, Seattle is a city, like I love Seattle. Um, early in my career, early in my leadership career, uh, I used to come here, <clears throat> it had a satellite office here and I used to make excuses to come just so I could look at the, the Puget Sound and like it's so beautiful here, it's such a great culture here. Um, it's a tech city, and I'm just happy that we're doing this here in Seattle, someplace I feel very, very familiar with, and very thankful for that. So I want to thank you all for being here. Um, and what I'm going to do right now is tell you a little bit about the state of the Continuous Foundation right now, and that's basically a few announcements uh, and where we're going next, okay? So founded in 2019, the CDF is celebrating <clears throat> its fifth year, and so this is our fifth anniversary, so welcome to our fifth CDCon. Yes, definitely. Um, before I get started, I want to tell you guys a little bit about myself. Uh, in June of 2022, I attended my first CDCon, and so just two years later, I did not expect that I would be here when I f first joined uh, uh, the CDCon. I am an engineering manager at Apple, and my team is primarily focused on Spinnaker. We contribute to the project. Uh, the team members participate in the SIG, and I serve on the technical oversight committee. In the CDF, before becoming board chair, I was on, or am on, the uh, CDF TOC, and I'm also co-chair of the interoperability SIG. So personally, I am a community person. I believe in community. Uh, unity of community is really, really important to me. Uh, unity that should be self-determining, and that is what the CDF is. We have a purpose, it's built around our projects, and we believe in each other, um, and I think that's wonderful, and that's why I'm so excited about this community. Self-determining communities with clear purpose and members that hold themselves accountable to get work done is extremely important to me, uh, and also why I wanna be a part of this community. Everyone works so hard to contribute and do some wonderful things. Uh, it's super awesome, I love it here. So, um, as I mentioned, I'm pleased to be here, so without further ado, let's get started. Uh, first, I'd like to thank and extend my appreciation to the Open Source Summit for hosting us here, as well as our sponsor, Harness. Uh, thank you very much, Harness, for uh, being a sponsor, and uh, we appreciate you guys. Yeah, it's Cameron in the back. <laughs> Okay, so at our core, um, the Community Foundation is home to eight projects. CD Events, Jenkins, Jenkins X, Ortelius, Screwdriver CD, Spinnaker, Shipwright, and Tecton. But our foundation's mission, our purpose, what we seek to do is improve the world's capacity to deliver software with speed and security. Now, I'm gonna say that again, because I wanna be sure you guys heard what was unsaid in that statement. The Continuous Delivery Foundation seeks to improve the world's capacity to deliver software with security and speed. Hmm? Oh, securely, I'm sorry, not with, yeah, yes. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. So did you catch it? Did you catch the thing that we didn't say, right? That's what makes us different. This means that what's crucial about the CDF is it, it originates on uh, the world we wanna ensure to deliver software safely and securely. Does it matter where you're delivering it to? Okay, does it matter where it originates from? Our role is to deliver it safely and securely. So anything that originates on this world we're gonna deliver it safely and securely, okay? And Ortelius will protect you from everything else. All right. Now, 
uh, by a show of hands, is anyone unfamiliar with all of these products? So you, you have no experience with any of the products here? No. Yeah, it's, it's at least one, right? We're all familiar with at least one of the projects here? Awesome, great, it makes my job so much easier. Okay. Okay. So um, I am personally pleased, or you know, tickled or optimistic or stoically optimistic, whatever you want to call it, um, about the, uh, the program that we have over the next two days. Uh, Anna Daughtry led the program committee that evaluated over 150 proposals to bring you this lineup. It was a lot of effort, and she led us through some very, very driven conversations to make sure that we got to this point. So I just want to say, uh, um, and I apologize if I mess up anyone's name, but Gorgi, Steve, Chandani, Jeremy, Tracy, Kate, and of course, Anna, I appreciate your efforts and the time you spent putting together this program. So on behalf of the CDF, thank you very, very much. So we'd like to announce that we've expanded the scope of our training with new certifications, courses, and skill creds. DevOps is at the core of the continuous delivery movement Training and certification from the Lytics Foundation and our training partners lets you invest in your career, learn DevOps, and make your CI CD project successful. We are also growing our training partner program. Our network of CI CD training partners provides training services for DevOps and continuous delivery projects. We have uh, the certified GitOps associates exam that allows you to demonstrate the understanding of GitOps principles, terminologies, and best practices in setting up GitOps managed software systems in addition to related practices such as configuration as code, infrastructure as code, DevOps, DevSecOps, CI, CD, and how to get them mapped into GitOps. We've also added uh, CI, CD with Tekton, uh, the CI CD with Tekton is a course that helps you master Tekton installations. And finally, the Tekton skill credit is for anyone interested in gaining a credential uh, with Tekton to further their career. And so if you want more information about these, you can check out our website, CD Foundation uh, slash training. We are also pleased to announce the release of the 2024 State of Continuous Integration and Continuous Delivery Report, uh, which was released today. The report commissioned by the CD Foundation and authored by Slash Data explores the current state of continuous integration and continuous delivery and how it's evolved over the past year. Globally, over 10,000 industry professionals were surveyed for the report, it gives us industry trends, and you can use it as a barometer to see how your organization is doing compared to other organizations uh, that you are peers with, or in the community in general. We'd like to give a special thanks to CloudBees for sponsoring this, and thanking them again for their continued support. Lori, please feel free to hype up the, you know. Thank you, the report, the report. Come on, guys, the report. I'd like to welcome the new and returning ambassadors for the 2024 cohorts. Um, I think the thing that I personally am most excited about is the ambassador program. I got to spend some time with some of the ambassadors. Um, this, like, wait, wait, I forgot what day it is. What day is it? Where are we at? Tuesday, okay, let's say I did it on Sunday. Yes, I hung out with ambassadors on Sunday. And that was really inspiring. Um, and the ambassadors I've been talking to in Slack, really inspiring. And I am just super excited to work with everyone. Um, a special, special thank you goes out to Garima, who has assembled this, I, I, it's such a diverse group. It's diverse in thought, it's diverse in industry, it's diverse in location. Um, she 
put a lot of effort into this to get us 50 really, really, really solid ambassadors. So I'm super excited. Welcome ambassadors. I'm looking forward to working with you um, and learning more about you, but having you go out into the community and represent the CD Foundation. You know, this is going to be an opportunity to have two-way conversations, to not just go out and talk about the CD Foundation, but bring that information back so we can take action on it, right? Because where we're trying to drive, where we're trying to go as a community, we need to understand your needs in the space. We need to understand uh, all the things that you want to do in your CI CD journey, and our ambassadors are going to lead us to that. So super excited. Welcome, ambassadors. Yay. That's right. Yay, ambassadors. So. We have this goal of community, but we really need to stop and identify who our community is. It's very easy in this kind of a situation to say, oh yeah, the community. You know, those guys who show up at conferences and support us. But that's not really what a CI/CD community is. It's the users of that, of this space, of these tools, and we have to think about how we need to interact with them based on who they are and their journey. So things like, what an executive needs to know and understand might not be the same thing that the developers need to understand. We need to be able to tailor our thoughts and our conversations to the people that we're talking to and the space that they're in. We can't have the same approach for MLOps that we do for DevOps in general. Um, we have to respect those differences, but also bring them into the community and have conversations with them. Understand what their challenges are so that we can build better tools to serve them. That is what the CDF is about. That's what the continuous delivery space is about. And it's this conversation and tailoring these conversations, I'm gonna walk off the stage, um, <laughs> that I am super excited about uh, and looking forward to working with the ambassadors to do and all of you in the community that wanna do it. So what is it that we're actually driving at in these conversations? Well, we understand that language is key, but not just language to the people that we're speaking to, but the language of our tools themselves. If we can take the time and communicate with each other and figure out a common vocabulary, a shared vocabulary for our tools, that'll let us standardize on our metadata. From there, we can capture that in events, and you'll hear more about that in a minute. But it'll let us create policies that are objects and stored. And so you can have a CI CD workflow that travels across different tools. That you can begin to interchange those tools and get to real interoperability. Now this goal for us in the CDF is right around the corner. It's coming. It's why we're here. It's why we're excited. It's why I'm so excited. But it starts with the shared vocabulary and those discussions around shared vocabulary so that we can standardize on the metadata. But we need to bring in MLOps, we need to bring in data ops, we need to ensure that all of their tools are represented in this common language for us to get where we want to go. You, you guys don't look excited about that. Aren't you guys excited about that? I, mean, I know she's excited. That's exciting. I mean, this is, this is the culmination of a lot of work. And when I, sh when I originally got here two years ago, I remember going into this little tiny room and there's these, this little panel talking about this thing. And I thought to myself, oh, that's it. That's the, I've been looking for that my entire life. Thank you and thank you. But you guys will hear more about it in a second. I promise not to talk about it too much. So. <laughs> All right. So how can we help you deliver? We're all here for the same reason. We're either making the tools to deliver software or interested in the tools to deliver software or understanding how to improve that chain. The CDF wants to help you in that journey. We are here to help you in that journey. How can we help you? Okay, so, um, there are a couple of events that will not be held in this room, and I wanna be sure that you guys are aware of it. Uh, the Spinnaker TOC open discussion and the screwdriver meet and greet are going to be held in room 430, okay? Uh, one's today at I think 110, and then the other one is tomorrow at 1250, but it's the same room, okay? 
And finally, ha, ah, perfect. And finally, we are raffling uh, off, you can enter to win, a GitOps cookbook, also from a uh, Continuous Delivery Foundation member, uh, Natalie Vinto. Uh, we are raffling off three books, but you do need to be present in this room tomorrow at closing to win the books, okay? So, but we're raffling off three books. We, we welcome you to join the raffle to uh, get a book. And um, folks, that is it for me. And I am super excited about this event. So let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Let's go, let's go, let's go.